Okay, so some of you have been asking how I put some of those sounds in my stream, like this one. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Or this one. Holy shnikes. I'm going to show you a free application that will allow you to take sounds like this, turn them into virtual inputs, and embed them into your stream using Streamlabs or OBS. Ready? Let's get at it. Okay, so I've spent the last couple of hours trying to figure out how I'm going to show you this application and how I'm going to demonstrate it to you. And honestly, even I'm getting a little mixed up, but I think I got it down and I want to show you that now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go out to VB Audio and download Voice Meter Banana, and you're going to want to download their virtual cable. I'm going to show you that here right now. So here's the website for vbaudio.com, Voice Meter Banana. And I'm going to put the link in the description below. And once you have that installed, you'll also want to download VB Audio's virtual cable. This cable input, and you'll download that, and I'll show you how you use that to get your sound from your soundboard back into your mixer and into your stream in OBS or Streamlabs. So if you have multiple microphones or you have multiple speakers or headset, you can route all of this stuff using Voice Meter Banana. I'm going to show you that and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take you in and I'm going to show you actually how the application routes and I'm going to draw it up on uh, paint and let you see how that works. Okay, so we've downloaded the application and we've also installed the virtual cable. So here's what I've done. These over the left are physical hardware inputs. To the right of that you see virtual inputs. And to the right of that, you see hardware outputs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a screenshot that I did here to help you understand this a little better. So PI stands for physical inputs, VI stands for virtual inputs, and PO stands for physical outputs. All these right here that I'm going to designate in red, these are your physical inputs. Okay, and I'll show you what I've set my physical inputs to in a moment. In blue, these are our virtual inputs. And in green, these are our physical outputs, okay? Now this one's a little different. These are the physical outputs right here. Minimize that. Now what I've done is I've separated all of my inputs into different hardware inputs. And you're allowed to have up to three hardware physical inputs. The first one I selected was uh, the WDM Headset Microphone Arctis 7 Chat. That is my headset that I use while gaming with the microphone, and I'll explain why I separated these out in a minute. The next is the WDM Cable Output VB Audio Virtual Cable. That's that virtual cable that you downloaded and installed um, from VB Audio's website. And my third input is my microphone, Blue Snowball microphone. Then you'll see down here that under each one of these individual inputs, there's a bunch of neat features. You can change and edit your voice with special effects here, uh, lower, higher, uh, echo effects, all sorts of things like that. There's some compression and some gate you can add to each input. Beneath these, the audio gate and the compression is uh, your fader gain. And to the right of that, you'll see that these really confusing A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, mono, solo, mute, and so on. Okay. These are some really cool features that you can use. You can mute certain things, uh, you can make them go to mono, but what I don't want to discuss is how we use this A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2 in getting the soundboard over to your stream in OBS or in Streamlabs so that people on Twitch can hear uh, your really cool you know, added special effects or your added audio that I demonstrated to you earlier. So you'll notice that my microphone is going into B1. What does that mean? Microphone to B1. This is where it gets confusing. Let's bring up that snapshot again. Okay, so I've selected B1. Now what this is, this is where this audio input gets routed or goes. So it goes from B1. We're gonna go from this input over to B1. Well, where's B1? This right here 
is B1. This is a virtual input. And you'll notice that there's nowhere on here does it tell you that this is B1. Right? But I'm telling you now this is B1. This is how you want to reroute this audio. So what you've done is you've just converted a physical input over to a virtual input. And here's why that's cool. Because you can actually route multiple things now to one input. What else do we want to route to one input? So let's go back here to what we've selected as our second hardware input, which is our cable output. And this cable output is how we're going to get, it's a virtual, it's a virtual output and it's actually going to capture um, our desktop sound and our, our little soundboard and it's going to move it over to B1. So it's going to mix it into, we're going to go just like this, B1, down over and go right into B1. So now we've actually mixed both of these inputs into one virtual input. Okay, so keep this in mind. This is virtual input voice meter VAIO. Now our blue snowball mic, we wanted to keep that separate from my headset and separate from my cable output, right? So we actually sent this over to B2. So please stick with me here. We sent this over, all the way over, all the way down, and then we input it into B2. This is B2. And now this input is called voice meter aux. All right, so now we actually took all these out and we put them into these inputs. Now this is again, stick with me, this is where it gets a little confusing. We're gonna go over to our sounds. Okay, so when you open up your sound settings, here's your playback settings. Here's your headphones, my headphones. And down here you'll see voice meter aux input. What does that translate to right here? Voice meter aux input and voice meter uh, VAIO. Here's voice meter VAIO. We also have recording devices. Okay, I, have, I have several recording devices that we're not using. But here is my headset that I currently do not have on turned off and then down here I have these voice meter aux output and voice meter output so these are the voice meter aux VAIO and voice meter VAIO now this is very important let's go back to playback and you're gonna want to set your voice meter VAIO which is your B1 right here you're gonna want to set that to your default device and this is important in uh, games as well as Streamlabs and OBS. For recording, we've set the voice meter output V voice meter VAIO as the default device as well. So that covers the routing and that covers how we've taken multiple inputs and we've combined them into single virtual inputs. But how do we get all this sound out to our headsets or out to anything else? Well, that's where the trick comes in. That's where these physical outputs come in handy. As you'll notice, I don't have these inputs going anywhere but the virtual inputs. But you'll notice that this virtual input I have going to A1. Well, what is A1 according to our snapshot? A1 is a physical output. So we actually have this routed. Let's open that back up. We have this routed, and we're going to use, we're going to stick with black. But we come out up over and down into a1 well what is a1 this is a selectable physical output i have it set to my wdm headphones so now my headphones will actually hear everything that's in input one and input two next we have a2 and this is also important this is going to be our wdm cable input virtual cable. Now you'll notice this is very similar to the cable output. So this is a cable output and A2 is a cable input. In voice meter they actually have a macro button tool. Okay. 
these macro buttons, you'll want to run that on start. And I'll show you what these macro buttons do. They're push buttons, just like on a um, any type of stream deck or anything like that. This is actually like hotkeys to do certain actions. Well, I have them set to do certain features and some of them, like this one, they run an application and they run this app recorder.load and I want to play this song or this mp3. Now recorder.load allows you to take that, place it here, put it on the recorder and output it. Well where do I want the output to go? I want to go to A1 and A2. So A1 goes to here. Let's go back to our diagram. We have the recorder, recorder load, play that sound, and it's going to go out to A1. So we can hear it in our headset. Let's go out to A2, which is our cable input. All right, this is a virtual cable. Now, where does virtual cable go? This is again, this is a tricky part. Virtual cable now comes out, and I'm going to go down now. We're going to go down, and it goes, we're going to squiggle across these guys. There we go. It goes right into here. Here is that virtual input that we set up a long time ago. So I know this was way back when we set this up, and what we did is we made that recorder. We made this application, these macro buttons, load an mp3 into our recorder. Here's the recorder right here, this tape. We sent this recorder, who's playing this out, this uh, audio, out to our headphones so we can hear it, know it's working, and out to our cable, which is our virtual cable. We then, we then went out of our virtual cable, our virtual output, and pushed it into our virtual input okay our cable output see that notice how it says cable output cable input well guess what now where does this one go where does hardware input number two go hardware input number two we send it to b1 comes down over and it goes into voice meter vaio okay so now that we've set up voice meter and all the routing and all the mixing correctly, let's take a look. So now let's take a look at OBS and we're going to take a look at all of our inputs. So let's just test our sound real quick. Right now you're hearing my microphone, which is my blue snowball microphone. What is my desktop audio? My desktop audio is the default. Now, under the sound settings, what is my default playback device? Voice meter, VAIO. Let's take a look at voice meter. Look at this, voice meter, VAIO input. There you go. This is the virtual input, okay? And what else is coming over that? This guy right here, over B1. Let's take a look at our, my second microphone. And I have this set to, I can either set this to default, but I've manually set it to voice meter output. Go back to our voice meter. Voice meter output. Okay, this is the output of this input. So when I play this song or an MP3 of any kind, Watch our cable output. First, it's going to load into our recorder. It's going to go out our recorder into our cable input. That cable input is going to come down into our cable output. So you'll see this meter go up and down. We're sending it to B1, which is this voice meter VAIO. There's our voice meter VAIO. So watch. I'm going to set these side by side. Watch our, let's set it up here. Watch this meter go up and down. 
and this meter go up and down. Holy shnikes! We just created a virtual input right there using that mixer and send it out to our stream and now everyone on our stream can hear it. So that is the routing portion. Now let's get to the portion where you can make some mp3s and that involves this application with the macro buttons. Super, super easy, okay? Let's use this yeah baby one, okay? Let's right click on this. So normally this will be blank. Actually, let's create another one. And we're gonna say, we're gonna call this button uh, new sound, okay? And it's gonna be a push button and we're gonna map it to a keyboard shortcut. Let's go ahead and call it, um, sure, key A. Normally I wouldn't do that, uh, as key A is probably pressing all the time during a game. But we're going to go ahead and do a record on. So uh, let me go over and re pull this one out. So this is, the, this is what we want to uh, copy and paste over there. Recorder.load is the function so request for button on or trigger in which is on bush uh, uh, on push button we want to do what we want to load a sound so let's go ahead and find a sound and where do we have some sounds let's go see if we can't find a sound to put in here i have some sounds right here let's do this one i award you no points all right so we're going to take this copy and inside the quotes we're going to paste and we're going to say what's the name of that file there I award you no points that mp3 there you go Hit okay now every time we press the a, a key the shortcut is the a key and you don't need to use a shortcut, by the way, if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and press these. Uh, I'm just going to click on this. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Awesome, right? I know you're hearing a little bit of echo because that's coming through my speakers. Let's turn down my speaker so it's not coming back through. I award you no points, and may God go. have Sounds mercy on your soul. way better. So that's it. That is how you set up soundboard, virtual inputs, uh, take physical inputs, convert them to virtual inputs, and then you can embed them or you can select them as microphones or sound devices for OBS or Streamlabs. Okay, everyone, I know that was a really long video and I know some of it was really confusing. Um, when you get into audio and audio mixing and creating all this stuff, it gets super, super confusing. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll try to reach back out to you. You can also go to my Discord. I'll put the link to my Discord in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Hit that little notification and you'll get notifications of all my other future videos. Please look me up on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or again, go to my Discord and there you'll be able to contact me directly and communicate with me and I can walk you through some of these things. Until next time, keep calm and game on.